Anywho. Good morning and welcome to this week's Facebook Live session with the Community Health Team. Uh, my name's Ria, I'm one of the workers on the team. And this week we've come up to Curtin Community Centre to visit the larder here. Um, so I'd like to introduce you to Caitlin. Uh, she's going to be speaking to us today about the larder and all the fantastic work that we do here. So thank you for having us. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and we're going to get a little tour of the larder in a, in a wee minute. Um, but first of all, I'd just like to ask Caitlin to give us a little bit of information about where everything came from, how the ladder started, and what she does here, if that's okay. Yeah. So the ladder started about a year ago, um, so before COVID and everything. It was originally set up by my dad. So, <laughs> stayed in the family. Um, he set it up because for a, his university project, he was basically looking at the poverty in the area and he noticed that there is abundance of families and children that if they're not in school they won't really get to eat as much because they don't earn enough money. Okay. So it's kind of like the struggle between do you pay your bills or do you feed your children. Right. Um, so after he's seen that he was kind of like something needs to change. So he found out about larders um, from the Lockheed one. He went there for a bit, they showed him how it was set up, what they do and everything and then he kind of followed their template. Okay. and set it up here. So that was back in June, July of last year. And then he was told by his university professor that if he wanted to use the project for his dissertation, he wasn't allowed to have any involvement of it. Oh, so it got handed so over to you. I took it over <laughs> so that I could keep running. Okay. Um, so that was basically how I got involved. Uh, I am the manager here. I've been the manager for about a year now. Uh, most of our donations come from Asda's at Cut In, Lidl's, um, Greg's every Thursday, well every week basically. Uh, drawing a blank. Okay. <laughs> so who would you um, say the ladder is for? Who can come the ladder is for everyone. The ladder is for single people, students, um, families, elderly people, anyone really. We don't look into your background or ask you how much money you make. We don't need that information. All you need to do is come along, give us your name, pay your money and you just get what we offer. Okay, so how much is that and what do people get for whatever it is that they take? So the larder each week is two pounds. Okay. So people will come in, they'll pay their two pound. Um, they then get six ten items, so that can include just Normal tins, pastas, cereal, and we have toilet roll at the moment, so that is also included in it. Okay. Um, and then once they have those items, they move along to the free table, which is the bakery stuff that we get. It's also the fruit and veg we get um, if we have any abundance of stuff. So at the moment, we've got a lot of noodles. Okay. So we put them on the table so people can get them as well instead of them going into their six items because we like to try and keep the six table items towards more stuff that is either a meal in itself so like the irish stew or the curry or like the beans and um, different stuff and then once you have all that sometimes we have different things from alexander's alexander's gives us stuff as well so that's alexander yeah. development is it yeah. development project yeah. yeah they uh at the moment we get like shower gels and um, water and powder and everything from there. So people also get that for free. And then we have our fridge and our freezer. So not all the time the freezer is filled. The freezer okay. depends on if we get donations or not. At the moment it is filled because as they gave us a lot of frozen stuff. Okay. So the freezer is filled. Um, so, so do the, you want to take us, do you want to yeah. show everyone what it is that you've got? <laughs> a red face. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is most of our stock basically. Uh, this is just what we've accumulated over lockdown. Um, usually, well before lockdown, we got a certain amount of stuff a week and then we ended up keeping what we didn't give away that week. Okay. Um, but since lockdown and that, just everything came in. So there's lots and lots of choice. So there's noodles, there's soups, there's beans, there's tinned fruit and veg, um, tinned meats as well. Um, Caitlin mentions toilet rolls, we've got UHT milk over there as well, so lots and lots of things, there's pasta, there's rice, um, and what are these 
bags over here, Caitlin. So these bags we made up yesterday. These are going to go out today. These are soup packs. Okay. So in the soup pack, we have like our, well, a recipe for one. So mm -hmm. it's laminated so that if they take it home, it doesn't get destroyed easily. Okay. So they can use that anytime they want. Um, so in the bag, there's everything to make up uh, lentil soup at the moment. So there's oil, there's carrots, there's stock cubes, there's potatoes, onions. And that way, when they pick it up and they go home, it's just follow the recipe, put it all in a pot, and then that's dinner for the family. Yep, so it's one pot, it's easy enough. Yeah. Um, and why have you decided to do these? What What do you think? Well, we have a lot of like lentils and tin carrots that a lot of people won't take. Some, most people will because they like to make soup. Some people might not have the knowledge how to make soup. Like, I only have the knowledge how to make soup because of my dad. But some people might not have that knowledge. Um, so doing this, we give them a recipe that they can keep and keep using. Plus, if we do different recipes throughout the week, they could even just make like a little book of it themselves. And they could practice all that stuff. And if they've got the recipe, it, shows, it tells them what they need. So that if we don't have it one week, they can go out and buy it. Okay. And they can just build up their little collection yeah. of recipes and go to that anytime yeah. you find something that's exactly. like a dish. So, okay. Want to show us what's over here? <laughs> so, once they come over here, they can pick if they want. This is iced tea or feminine products. Okay, so some toiletries, feminine products, uh, maybe some There's bathrooms. There's nappies, uh, okay. toothpaste. Perfect. So stuff for the bathroom. Yeah, you've got Hygiene stuff. stuff. Yeah, personal care. Okay. And then they come over here, which is where Arlene is. They pick six items from here. So today we've got pot noodles, spaghetti hoops, chicken curry, pork, um, beans, spaghetti, sauce toilet roll and cereal okay. so we, us we usually have cereal but sometimes we don't so that will always be exchanged out for something else and obviously you're working a lot with volunteers yeah. I've noticed as well so yeah my, on... my entire project is run by volunteers basically I was a volunteer manager for the first seven months and then because I couldn't get a job on top of this because I work from Monday to Thursday basically um, we had to find a way to kind of get me a wage otherwise I would be doing this completely out of pocket and if I, if I was living on my own that would be the best thing unfortunately <laughs> so we've got a lot of noise and hustle and bustle in the background so we're hoping that you can hear everything that Caitlin's saying um, so obviously you're relying a lot on the volunteers yeah. time you know, coming here every oh, Thursday as well to do, as well as the time spent here on a Thursday, what other time spent prepping for the ladder? Because you've got a lot of help from workers, from volunteers, behind the scenes. Is it a lot of work behind the scenes for you guys? Well, Wednesdays is when we get our bigger deliveries. So someone always has to be here, which is usually me. And once that delivery comes in, it makes sure that everyone's, everything's put away on time. But we also have our St Mary's larder that we do on a Tuesday. So that's also the same. So the delivery comes in on Monday. Okay. And then we have to make sure everything's put away and organised for the Tuesday. So you've got a lot of stock rotation. Yeah. A lot of lugging heavy boxes and yeah. bags around. Deliveries, a bit of coordination as well. Yeah. Yeah. So the, tell me again, the curtain larder is Thursdays? Between 11 and... About half one okay. is usually when it goes quiet, but we are open till two. Okay. And the St Mary's one is the exact same, and both are the same price, they're both two pounds. And is that at the St Mary's Community Facility? St Mary's Community Centre on St Kilda Road, yeah. On St Kilda Road, okay, so you've got two of them, if yes. anybody fancies popping along. Yeah. Okay, and what else have we got here? So we've got our Greg stuff, which is... All the treats. All the treats basically, yeah. like our sandwiches, the good our... Stuff. <laughs> our pastries, our donuts, so people can come along and get some of them as well. Okay. And we've got some sandwiches and filled rolls and things yep. here. Great. And then we've got our fruit, a veg, and this is kind of like, these are kind of like our free tables. So these are extras that we give to people if they want them, they don't have to take them. So this is on top of what they would get in their bag. Yes. So when people come in, they... Um, pick up a bag, just an empty bag, 
and then we give them their six items also to sit back this week and then they come along and we ask them if they want any sandwiches, if they want any sausage rolls or any cakes. Um, we then ask them if they want veg or if they want noodles or soup. A lot of people will take it. Perfect. And what have we got at the end? Is that watermelons? Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> and hazel. <laughs> yeah, so these are apples, bananas, watermelons this week. Which wow, cool. It's a big watermelon. <laughs> yeah. And then we also have some hygiene stuff. So we've got shower gel, deodorant, shaving cream, and razors. Okay, so extra toiletries as well. Extra toiletries people as well. Pick up. And then we've got our freezer, which currently has stuff on it. Okay. <laughs> which is filled. So they would get two items from the freezer. But since a lot of, I think a lot of our items that were donated are just like single pies, we'd give them two pies basically. Okay. Um, and they can choose themselves yeah. out of what's there, yep. any two. Any two, any okay. two they want. And then we got the fish, which has got some more veg in it. Uh, there's some ready meals, there's some soup, some cheese, just different things you would find in your fridge really. And they can get two items from there as well. So what would you, um, obviously you see everyone that's coming in, you chat to them when they come yeah. in as they're collecting their food, what would you say the main benefits are having the larger in the area? What do people tell you that they enjoy about it or how do people benefit from coming along? Well before Covid we used to have tables set up so people could, <laughs> so people could just sit down and speak to each other. It got a lot of people like um, younger parents that might not see a lot of people all the time or elderly folk that might not come out. It actually brought them all together. So I think the social would, aspect. Yeah, you would see them all chatting, you know, people that you wouldn't normally see on the street chatting yeah. would just all sit and have a conversation. Like young moms would bring in kids and older people would sit there and be like, oh, I remember my kid was this age or blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's really good, especially for the older people, because sometimes the only time they did get out was when they had their club activities or they came here. But a lot of people, it was when they came here, they would sit at a table and then they'd have a conversation or they'd be like, oh, I've not yeah. seen you in so and so many weeks. So they knew it was a place they could be. Yeah, and a lot yeah. of, especially a lot of like, um, their friends would be here. So you'd see someone coming in, they'd open that door and they'd be like, oh, I've not seen you in weeks. And they'd go <laughs> over and just sit down and have a conversation about how they've been in that. Okay, and how has COVID, has COVID changed the way that you guys are running things here? Well, or because, of, because of it, we can't have the tables out anymore. So people can't really sit and socialize a lot, but because the line is two meters. We line them up in the hall so they stay warm because it's freezing outside. Yeah. Um, so they still, you still see everyone chatting to each other, and you still see them like all yeah. shouting over each other. So just at a distance with their masks yeah. on. Yeah. But they still all have conversations. Everyone's still ready to go. We um, we got trolleys. Okay. Like uh, I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Like the elderly people use if they can't pick up a lot. So of for stuff. anyone who can't manage physically, yeah, you can use a we, trolley. Uh, we got a lot of trolleys donated, and we gave it to um, a few of the people that used a lot of them. And a lot of times they'll come and they'll have them, and they're like, "This has saved me so much time and energy. It's so much better for me." So a wee extra touch, a wee extra yeah. support for them yeah. to make the ladder more accessible for exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because you'd see a lot of them being labelled, because, because of all the stuff we give them, it takes up a few bags. Mm, heavy. Yeah. It can get very heavy, which we don't, we don't mean, but it can get very heavy if it's all weighed up in one bag. Mm -hmm. So for people that are struggling, we did have trolleys. We are working on getting more of them. Okay. So that if anyone else needs them, then we can help them out as well. Okay. Okay, so that's a whistle stop tour of Kirkland and Larder. Um, just before we go, I'm just going to ask Caitlin to remind everyone of the venues, the days and the times that the St Mary's and the Kirkland Larders are on at. So if anybody at all wants to pop along, you're more than welcome. Everyone is welcome. Yep. Yep, everyone's welcome. Yep. So the St Mary's Larder is on Tuesdays up at St Mary's Community Centre on St Kilda Road between 11 and 2. And then the Kirkton Larder is on at the Kirkton Community Centre on Thursdays between 11 and 2 as well. It's £2 for both of the larders, so just come along. Honestly, we don't ask background, we don't ask who you are, all we'll ask is your name and your money, that's it. Okay. And just quickly before we go, are there any plans to provide anything over Christmas time? Um, everything's a little bit different this yeah. year. Well, last year we did um, hamper boxes. Okay. So it was like it was a few weeks worth of food put into one hamper box, and then that was given out as long as, as well as larder. 
um, because obviously our cutoff time for a, the Thursday one would be the week before Christmas, and then the Tuesday one is the week of Christmas. Okay. Um, because of like the days and everything. Um, but we are doing hamper boxes again this year. Great. So it's okay. it'll be 50 here and 50 at St Mary's, and then I think we're doing 50 for Ardler as well. Perfect. And they, so they can get just as normal at the normal yep. times here. And then they can also get the hamper box. Perfect. Okay. Um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to post them uh, below the video as a comment or you can message our Facebook page. I don't know if there's any questions at the moment. I don't think so. Um, but if you think of anything or you're watching this back at any time, feel free. Um, if you've got a question for Caitlin or for the team, post it on the video or just give us a wee message. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>